Good day, poker peeps. This is Sky with Smart Poker Study, and I'm going to help you get cracking with Poker Tracker 4. So, first off, if you're still not sold on the benefits of utilizing Poker Tracker 4, uh, if you're going to be an online player, you've got to use Poker Tracker 4. There's no point in playing online without the additional. Uh, use of Poker Tracker 4, which saves a database of hands. Every single hand that you play, as, as long as your poker site accepts Poker Tracker 4, it's all saved within the program so that you can go through and review your hands, analyze your play, find your mistakes, plug your leaks, uh, basically work on your game utilizing Poker Tracker 4. Poker Tracker 4 is also great because it tracks your play, it tracks all of your results. So you know if you're a losing or a winning player, how many hands you've played, how many hours that you've played. All that jazz, Poker Tracker 4 helps a lot. And, of course, having a HUD with Poker Tracker 4, that's just additional information on your opponent. It's like if you're sitting at a live poker game and your buddy tells you, hey, you see that guy in seat 6 over there? This is what you do to exploit him. Well, your poker HUD in-game is like your buddy telling you how to exploit the opponents around your table. So, let's get you cracking with Poker Tracker 4. The first thing that you're going to do, oh, this is our five step itinerary for this video. You're going to first verify that Poker Tracker 4 supports your chosen poker site, whatever you choose to play on. So go to smartpokerstudy.com slash poker tracker 4. And it's important that you use this link because it tracks that you came from me. And it's an affiliate link which helps to support the podcast. Uh, and uh, we'll get into that in just a little bit more. So what you're going to do, once you're on this page, scroll down to the site map. And now these are all the Poker Tracker 4 supported sites. Basic sites right here and then networks, which are comprised of a lot of different sites. I play on America's Card Room, which is part of the winning poker network. And I play on Carbon Poker, which is part of the merge network. If you're unsure of your network, visit your site. So let's go like this right, real quick. AmericasCardroom.eu there's a very good chance that somewhere on the home page, it's going to tell you what network it is. WPN, the winning poker network. Hey, awesome. Poker Tracker 4 supports my network right there. So now that you are sure that Poker Tracker 4 works with your chosen site, you can start your 14 day trial. Or what I recommend, just go ahead and make a purchase, right? You know that you're going to use this program. I've been using it for years. I absolutely love it. You cannot get by in online poker. You cannot run a profitable online poker journey without utilizing Poker Tracker 4. So click the Buy Now button. You're going to download it, install it, all that stuff, just like any other poker program. Get it going. Once it uh, it's up and running on your computer. It's going to look like this. No hand history here, nothing going on. It's a blank slate right now. The first thing that you need to do is now configure it for your poker site. Now there's two steps to this. First, you need to ensure that your poker site is saving hand histories. Now oftentimes hand histories are not turned on automatically. You have to do it within your poker site software. So this is the America's Card Room Lobby. Uh, I don't know where you play at, obviously, but you're going to have to find the hand history settings and it's probably going to be, you know, under settings. Click that. You can see for me all these different setting options here. Hey, there they are. Hand histories at the bottom. Click on that. Turn on the save hand history function. I'm sure if you're on Poker Stars 888 Poker, there's it's going to look something like this as well. Your poker site is going to automatically choose where it saves its hand history. But if you want, you can change the folder somewhere else. And this is, I think this is just default 30 day hand history. I just keep it here. Now, it's not that big of a deal. As when Poker Tracker 4 is running, it's automatically pulling hands from this file and it's saving it in its own Poker Tracker 4 file. So it doesn't matter 30 days, 60 days, 90, it doesn't matter. Your Poker Tracker 4 accesses a hand once and then it has it saved in its own hand history. So just keep that as the default. Now, you're going to have to remember this for later on. So what I recommend is writing it down, or I often use my snipping tool, take a little picture of it, and then bam, I have it for later on, and you're going to need it for the configuration process right here. So let's get rid of that for now. We're done here. We ensured our site is saving hand histories. The next step is to find your network's configuration file. Now, you can do this in one of two different ways. There's help guides right here. Click on that site configuration and then you're going to scroll down and find your site 
here is the winning poker network so I could click on this and open it up and take a look or very simple from the very start just go down to the bottom poker tracker for supported sites winning poker network click that and this is the configuration guide for WPN now once you get to this page you actually don't really need to go here you could just use the setup assistant within poker tracker 4 so you have this under tools right up top setup assistant different things that'll help you set up but configure sites is what we want right now turn the sites on that you play on I used to play on stars but I still just have it configured for it but there's the merge there's the winning poker network hit next now it's gonna say oh for merge this is where your hand history is taken from you're gonna to have to uh, you can auto detect or you can add your own if there's nothing here and type it in let me show you what that would be like here's the poker stars directory and now here's the winning poker network you can see C colon slash America's card room slash hand history ah it's the exact same we're pulling from the correct file right here so it's already detected everything hit cancel hit close and then bam I am set up and I'm ready to go the other thing that you can do is down below simply follow the configure winning poker network go bit by bit you could do all of this manually and it tells you exactly where to go uh, to do the hand history file to set up your preferred seat all that stuff right there totally up to you whichever way you want to go but either way now poker tracker 4 is going to be set up to record your hand histories so just start playing poker on the site that you just set up to test whether or not it's uh, importing hands as you're playing as soon as one hand is dealt and you hit fold on that hand and you exit the hand or the hand ends I should say after showdown hit the refresh button as soon as you do that hand is gonna pop up here play five more hands hit refresh now you're gonna have six hands down here play ten more hit refresh you're gonna have 16 hands just as you're playing it's automatically saving every single hand so that your database starts growing and then you can start learning from your play learning from your opponents play finding your mistakes plugging your leaks improving your poker skills along your poker journey all right, thank you so much for watching this little Get Cracking with Poker Tracker 4 video, and I'll catch you in the next one.